Okay, friends, it's uh, January 30th, 2014. I'm going to redo this uh, video with a flame. This is a uh, propane, okay? Well, the lighter uses uh, butane. Butane is a uh, lower degree of heating device, so you don't uh, have a chance of an explosion. But what it does on the... Uh, the structure of snow versus the structure of an ice cube. An ice cube is uh, frozen at a different level without oxygen where s snow itself is a combination of a lot of oxygen as it accumulates up, the, up in the air. This is not to, uh, to change the fact that there's chemtrails and more than likely some substance in our snow. What it is is to prove that uh, the black that they're seeing on the snow which also was on the ice cube itself, is uh, the uh, butane itself uh, carbonating itself, okay? Because uh, the fact it's not burning, it's actually turning things black. The problem with that experiment is that, yes, the uh, butane lighter will melt the ice cube, but it doesn't, it's not enough heat to melt and break down the oxygen and the ice crystals in a snowball. Okay, I don't know how well they compress that snowball, so I'll do both. In fact, let me make a snowball real quick. I got this butane torch on here so it doesn't get cold. Or propane, I'm sorry. Let me make an ice cube out of this stupid ass snow. I'll reach down here and grab some of this. So you know I'm really doing this, guys. Okay. I'm gonna compress a snowball, okay? Kinda, try to. All right, just the warmth of my body, maybe in my hands, I might go ahead and compress this. So what that does is compressing those molecules of snow and air even tighter, okay? I'm gonna do both, all right? All right, there's our ice snowball, okay? Now I'm going to set that in here with our, as you can see, <laughs> As you can see, let me uh, put this down here and we'll start this experiment, guys. All right. As you can see, we're going to uh, zoom in on this so we can see what's going on here. And I'll start this experiment, guys. All right. Let me start out by lighting our torch. I'll have to have one glove on because I'm not burning the shit out of myself with this propane. We're going to light the propane, guys. All right. Turn the valve on. And let me, get, let me get this set right. There's a flame there, okay, guys? There's a hot flame. It's propane. All right. You can hear it. What we're going to do I'm hoping I'm getting all this on film. Maybe I'll do it right in front of you. Alright. We're going to melt the snow. Alright. See the water dripping? We are melting snow. Okay? And because propane actually, you're gonna have to break this down for a while. Okay, until it starts to but it has to get hot enough. Alright? And then it will start. See how it crystallizes itself? Even this is not hot enough to break it down. But it's not turning black. Well, in places it is a little bit. Oop, I just dropped it. Okay. It turns the water, guys. Let me show you. It turns the water. Okay, see it? That's water. All right. Now we'll do a non-ice cube. Now we'll do the ice cube. If I can do this. Because of the structure of the ice cube, 
is going to melt a lot faster, okay? And it's going to drip off. See, it doesn't have the oxygen. That's why it melts so fast. Okay, let's do a handful of snow that hasn't been compressed, okay? You can see it's melting, guys. It's literally melting, all right? And it will melt. It will break down in the water. See that? It breaks down the water, guys. Am I saying that uh, there's no chemtrails? No, I'm not saying that. Am I saying the snow melts at a different temperature and acts different than ice cube? Hell yes, I am. Okay? Well, that's all I got to say to this. Let me shut my YouTube propane off. I don't want to waste my propane for this experiment. What I'm showing you guys, I hope I got all that on film. I'm trying to tell you, hello, I'm trying to tell you that uh, snow melts and reacts different to heat than an ice cube does because of the oxygen level and the structure of it. Okay. But am I saying there is no chemtrails? No, I'm not saying that. I'm here in Indiana, the same place Henning is. In fact, I got the snow before Henning. So you're trying to tell me my snow is different than Henning? That's bullshit. The snow they got down in uh, Virginia and that is different than our snow. Bullshit. Okay, it may have a different complexity of chemicals in it, but it is still the same way that it freezes in the air and, and, and reaches the earth, okay? That's just good common sense. This is not for those that were paying attention the first time. This is the ones that were way in the back that were asleep during my first uh, video. Friends, snow melts at a different level than ice because of the oxygen involved okay and the blackness you see with a butane lighter is the residue off of the butane because it is not able to break down the snow as clean as the propane does so therefore it leaves that black residue this is not something to get scared about it still does not say that there's not uh, problems with our atmosphere there is okay hell i don't know what's in it and i'm going to do that test I've taken a little bit of the snow, i got some snow in the house that I brought in, and I'm going to let it melt down. Then I'll take some uh, distilled water, or bottled water, and then some tap water. And I'll do try to do an analysis on the three, and maybe do a slideshow for you up with a microscope, and see just what lies within this water, and the chemicals that we can see. My friends, the whole experiment that we just seen by these guys is flawed, okay? It was meant to flaw. It was a thrill seeker. It was like a magic show, a card show, or whatever. It just, uh, it doesn't work, guys. It's just not practical. So, therefore, you understand what I'm saying. It just doesn't work because the snow does melt, okay? And uh, to think that the snow doesn't melt is just foolishness. I mean, we had a bunch of snow and it melted and it snowed again. So, uh, you know, don't, don't buy into that, okay? Yeah. The ice cube and the snow melt at two different temperatures, okay, because of their molecular structure, all right, because of the oxygen involved in what comes from the air and the stuff that you draw from the faucet, chuck in the ice cube tray and freeze it. That's the reality. So if you don't understand this, then I'm done with it. You know, you, the best thing you can do is go away from my channel because you have no logic. You, you're chasing dreams of fantasy that don't exist, okay? You want, you want to be thrilled, you know, you want to get in a corner and be all scared to death. You know, I want real people around me. I don't want uh, a bunch of wimpy ass people. So, God bless you. How do kids hug the wife? The old Marine on January 30th, 2014. Thought I'd come out here and do this for you. I should have caught the, caught the sun, but now nah, I'm going to cut this video short enough now. So, love you. Maybe we'll come out and catch the sun when I can. Have a good one. Bye-bye, guys. We love you. How do kids hug the wife? Call the grandparents. I'm done. Bye bye. Hope you got it. As you can see, there's water. Come on, camera. There's water in there, guys. It melted. Okay? That's how it is. God bless you. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.